Police in Norwich looking for the suspect in a deadly shooting of a man over the weekend. Now, police say the 25-year-old victim was found lying on Oak Street early Saturday morning. News 8's Tina Detell on the scene in Norwich to tell us how this shooting has neighbors concerned. When police arrived here on Franklin Street early Saturday morning, they found Johnny Amy lying in the middle of the road. He had been shot. There was also other evidence that other shots were fired, including this utility box, which was nicked by a bullet. There's also a bullet hole in the front window of TNA Fashion Clothing and four more in the front door. One bullet traveled through the entire store and was lodged in a back wall. I could have been going home from work, closing my business, and there was four bullets coming through the door. I don't know what would have happened to me. So, you know, it's a serious situation. I felt bad for the family. Noreen McQueen, owner of the store, says the 25-year-old who worked at MGM Grant was very quiet. His family is having a tough time dealing with his loss. Johnny's got someone that has me and my mom now. I don't know how is she now. Because Johnny, Johnny never do something bad. He's a good boy. The shooting happened at about 2.25 early Saturday morning after Amy had gotten out of work at the casino. Then we heard like firecracker sound. Robert Ferran says it started with a fight in front of this laundromat and he believes Amy may not have been the intended target. I believe a man was like stabbed in his arm and his girl gave him a thing to put around his arm. In retaliation, I guess, he went to look for the guy to shoot him for what he did and shot the wrong guy, it seemed like. While we were here, many people came up to us telling us how upset they are about the shooting and how upset they are about the loss of Johnny Amy, who by all accounts was a very quiet, nice man. Now, if you have any information about the shooting, you are asked to call Norwich Police. On the scene in Norwich, Tina Detell, News 8.